I have received so many messages, literally a plethora of them, asking to talk about small spaces. I listened, and today, that is exactly what we're doing. There's nothing more difficult than actually decorating a small space because everything that you put in the space has to be very intentional. It has to be very well thought out and it has to be multi-use. I'm gonna start with the best example of a small space that I haven't seen in a long time and this is by Bridget Muller. So Bridget has done a fantastic job of decorating this specific apartment of hers. It's about 500 square feet in Brooklyn. She has, of course, absolutely utilized her upper cabinets because when you are in a small space, you cannot forego upper cabinets because you're gonna need them as storage. Another thing she has done is created this seating bench with lots of pillows that can also double as storage, whether it be your winter clothes, summer clothes, and you can change them back and forth. Every room, which is very small in this place, is very purposefully driven, where she has a lot of closet space where she can store things, but again, it doesn't look like a giant closet because she has different pieces of furniture from different eras, a lot of antiques that she has placed in this room, and she's been very clever about disguising certain things. My favorite part of what Bridget has done is how she has mounted her TV. It's basically clandestine in a grouping of other artwork, but it's in fact one of those pieces is the actual television with a swing arm that she pulls out whenever she wants to see her television. And it's just beautifully done so that it doesn't look like a television inside of a very small space. Another thing she's done beautifully is integrated the kitchen into the apartment so that it doesn't look like a giant kitchen. Why? Because the kitchen extends in a different cabinet that's entirely different that was on a dresser that she's repurposed and added a marble top to it. So essentially it is a really well done space. Something I've seen time and time again, four small spaces that I really think you guys can do, which can easily be a DIY is we talked about floating shelves and how irrelevant they've become. However, they are actually quite hot and quite useful in a space such as the one that you're seeing here on the screen, which allows you to use a floating shelf a little bit deeper than normal as a desk. It could double in a kitchen. Here it's doubling as a decor shelf, but certainly if you were having a dinner party in the space, this could double as your bar or your buffet. So this is very useful and an easy thing to do and to implement. Another great hack in a small space is to have vertical storage. Vertical storage is gonna be important because space is at a minimum. And the way not to make the vertical storage look boring is to perhaps place it next to a bench that is similar in style, if not identical in style, that makes it look like a longer unit. Here, you can take off your shoes, you can store items. Underneath, you've got a basket. That can also be used for either storing shoes or perhaps your mail. And this is a very useful yet nice looking area. Another great example of bringing in extra storage and extra seating is by putting under a credenza two poofs. We did this in a New York apartment that was super high end. We had a beautiful credenza and then underneath we slapped in some extra seating so that if you have a lot of guests that come to the home, you can certainly pull these out. Another way of incorporating a double space into one space is really genius and that is to have your credenza or your buffet where you store all of your belongings, your clothing, etc. And then if you need a makeup place, it's really hard to put a credenza next to a credenza next to a vanity, which just makes it look junky. However, if you float your vanity right next to and butt it up right next to your credenza, it's going to look like it's meant to be there. And putting it in a corner is even more genius. That corner is usually a dead space or a corner that most people don't need to decorate. But in your case, or in the case of somebody with a small apartment, this is a great way to make the space look more expansive by putting in a half mirror, so basically a half moon, above this floating vanity and really creating that double space that just looks super elevated. I wanted to give you an example of a kitchen that is really nicely incorporated into the living room of a small space. So the kitchen has seating, but the seating isn't throughout the entire countertop. It's done to the corner, which makes it less of a kitchen type vibe, if that makes sense. So that, you know, two people could be sitting, could be eating, yet you're not staring at the kitchen counters. 
and you have this beautiful bar that is paneled in this lovely vertical panel, probably teak. And then you also have your living room, which surrounds the kitchen. So it is sort of envelopes the kitchen and it just makes it look part of the room without it feeling like two separate spaces and quite homogenous. Being sustainable is really important to me and I know it's very important to the rest of you guys too. So for that reason, I have launched my own subscription clothing service. You pay a monthly fee and you get a plethora of clothes uh, that you can choose from and then return if you don't want to keep them. So this, for example, is from my collection from The Collective by Nina Takish. There are lots of different brands on there that I particularly love from The Road to um, Levi's to a whole host of other brands. This subscription service is going to be linked in the description section below. And uh, I hope you enjoy it because I am really having a great time getting all these new pieces that I am able to wear for you guys. And then I don't have to worry about wearing them again because I can't wear the same things twice and I don't wanna keep buying and flooding uh, my closet with things that don't necessarily need to be there. So uh, thank you so much for joining me on this episode of The Red Elevator. I am walking on one of my favorite rugs. This is the Ruggable rug from my rug collection. It looks fantastic here and great because I can throw it in the wash. All my rug designs are in the description section below. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being so wonderful and loyal. And I can't wait to see you guys again next week. And give me more topics, guys. You said small spaces. What else? Let me know. I'll see you guys next week here on The Red Elevator.